Hey guys, it's Madame Moria. Welcome back to more of Let's Play The Sims 2 Pets. We are entering our house for the first time today. However, I want to explain some things before we actually get started with gameplay. I know you guys are anxious for me to start gameplay, but I want to make sure I go over all these details first with building and such. So, here we go. Anyway, so basically, I left off saying this room was going to be blank as well as these two, which these two will be filled in later regardless, um, but this one needs to be filled in right now because it is our gay son's bedroom. So um, yeah, a lot of you were disappointed I did not name my son Pierce, but does that look like a big blue bird to you? I don't think so. He's got to be legit. I mean, come on now. We can't share people. Uh, the only person we can name after someone is Pinky. That's my logic behind it. So, anyway, let's get started. Um, first of all, I want to go over this in detail just before we even get into gameplay because I didn't really get to before. I know you guys saw what I did and how I built things, but it was so sped up and unexplained that, you know, that just doesn't really seem fair to me. So, anyway, if you click on the shopping option, you have three different modes you can use. I personally would never use this one just because that doesn't say a whole lot to me. That does not explain things. So anyway, you have uh, sort by function and what is this called? Sort by room. This is the kind of furniture that you're going to be putting in your house, the options for that. So um, yeah, I always do sort by function just because I like to go through all the objects, not, you know, close-minded into thinking, oh, well, this has to go in the living room, and I don't know. I mean, I'm sure some of you probably use these options, like living room, kitchen, bedroom, office, you know, all that stuff, um, but I personally use this one. Now, if you click through these, you're gonna come up with more options based off the type of picture it is. So, like this for seating, you're gonna have all different kinds of seating and then beds, of course, too. Just like comfort. And then this is um, obviously tables, desks. Anytime you see this three circle thing, that means miscellaneous. And it just has some extra items that really don't fit into a legit category. For example, this is an outdoor picnic table. Um, so you probably would not be putting that in your dining room, but then again, you might not be putting it outside either. It's just like an extra thing that they claim in the game, the designers, that you don't need necessarily. So I don't know. But anyway, um, same thing goes for here with like bar benches and outside benches. I figure you're not going to be putting this stuff in your house, but there it is for you in case you want to. So anyway, that's comfort, surfaces, then we have decorative. This can be a little bit more confusing just because you have plants, statues, wall hanging, um, mirrors, curtains, and rugs. Now, I don't really know why mirrors are in here necessarily. I think that should have been with like the dressing stuff, but you know, there it is. So sometimes the way these things are sorted doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And then like the extras are all the signs and like extra wall decor. A lot of the extras have to do with public places, like they were designed for public restaurants in this game and things like that. Um, that's just kind of what I've gathered from it. And then you have plumbing. This has the best thing in the world in it. Hot tubs. Get a hot tub or I will punch you. Um, so yeah, you've got toilets, all that good stuff. That one's probably the most accurate, I would say, as far as easy to figure out. Some of this stuff, um, especially decorative. Um, and then I'll go over the ones down here that are kind of not the greatest sorted wise. I don't know if that makes sense, but I don't think that some of the decorative items should necessarily be in decorative. I mean, I can see why they are, but you get my point. Anyway, then we've got appliances. Pretty self-explanatory again. This is all kitchen stuff mostly. Um, and then you've got outdoor grills and refrigerators, appliances that you might use like microwave, espresso machine, um, I would recommend getting a food shopper and a uh, coffee maker. I don't drink coffee, so I never usually give my Sims that, but I think I did this time. Then you've got a trash compactor and a uh, um, dishwasher. I would recommend always getting a trash compactor because, oh my god, 
it saves the world from your sim having to run outside and throw trash outside because that's what they'll do. Um, also, to use any of those appliances, as you probably saw when I built, you have to go here and get a counter first. Um, so just keep in mind that that's there. If, again, I'm going over this as if you've never played this before, so I apologize if you have and you're like, why are you telling us this? I just want to cover it all in case you are just now being introduced to the game. Then you've got electronics. This part, the small electronics, is the most important part. Remember the freaking fire alarm and actually remember all three of these things. Remember the fire alarm, remember the house alarm, and remember the phone. Or you will punch yourself next time you get on and you can't call anybody and you can't save your sim from death and you have no furniture because it got robbed. Um, then of course we have music, entertainment, video games, all that important stuff. And then the extra is a cash register. I don't really know why the extra is a cash register because I don't know that you can even use it in this part. I don't know. Um, then you've got lighting. Again, another really self-explanatory one. It's probably the best next to plumbing. Um, and then this is probably another option that is pretty dang confusing to me um, with decorative. Hobbies. Now you've got arts such as piano, artwork, bookcases that somehow match up with, um, I don't know, looking at stars, stargazing, but um, or telescopes, whatever you want to call that. But I guess it's trying to go by the points, the different skill points you get from this, which I'll go over later thing is, you don't get the same skill points at all from a bookcase as you do from a telescope. So, what? I feel like all of these should have just been in one big jumbled, I don't know. Uh, workout machines, we'll see that later, and then games that are or recreation, whatever. I like the chess table, bowling alley's fun. This thing? Never buy this thing. This my shunu or whatever don't buy it because that's all your sims will do they will never do anything else it is so obnoxious so anyway those are the hobbies and then you've got miscellaneous dressers and such are in miscellaneous i personally think that there should have been another option like right here that's like bedroom i know that's kind of what they were going for with this where there is a bedroom option but come on now that would have just been so much easier then you've got baby stuff. Again, this could have been in the bedroom option. Or there could have been like a kids option, I think. Um, and then party supplies for if you have a wedding or birthday party. Cars are in this area. And um, pet supplies are in this area. A lot of you are mad I did not make Gooba too. And I'm telling you right now, we have to focus on the family first. Then we can add the pets. Um, and then the extras like the swing set and this photo booth and trash cans, which don't really... I think the trash cans could have gone with the party supply and this could have gone with that, the children, and even though, you know, I love swinging, I'm not saying kids are the only ones that swing, but anyway, then this could have gone with party too. I don't know. I just feel like this could have been sorted better. But anyway, that's my personal opinion. I don't know. So now that I've rambled on with that, we're going to get started actually furnishing our son's room. So we're going to add a dresser first. I like this one, but I think it's, yeah, it's brown, isn't it? That's kind of stupid. Let's give him a, we'll just give him a matching closet. That looks pretty hot. Wait, where's that door? There's a door over here somewhere. Um, okay. Well, I guess the door's brown, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll leave it like that. Um, now, I'm probably going to go through this kind of fast just because I know where everything is. Um, which I think is, is more helpful to watch that than to be like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Just seeing what I get out and what I do. I think he's the type of guy who needs like a stereo of some kind. Now, we've got one of these outside, but... I like it. I do like it a lot. Let's put, well, I don't know. Should we make that cooler than that? Probably, but whatever. We'll figure it out. Um, so yeah, a lot of you were, um, you know, throwing suggestions at me and saying, you know, why didn't you do this or why didn't you do that? I promise that nothing I did was done thoughtlessly. I was never like, oh, well, I don't know. I think I'll... Um, I'm gonna put a desk there instead because that seems more functional. 
anyway, I was never like, well, I think I'll just, you know, party and not pay any attention to what I'm doing with um, people I'm making. I, I was, I promised you, I have a reason for everything I did um, that you guys might have found odd, such as not actually adding a pet, even though I'm playing Sims 2 Pets. Now, the reason I'm playing Sims 2 Pets, and I recently found out that Glamour Life is also on here, um, which is just like a furniture expansion, but anyway, uh, the reason I'm playing Pets is because of basically the furniture, the I mean, that's the latest one I have. You wouldn't go back and play just regular Sims 2 if you could have more furniture options and such with, hello, Sims Pets. So, um, that's my logic behind that. So, I'm sorry if you were disappointed by that. But, what can I say? I'm a big doof most days. So, anyway, every kid needs a game system in their room. So that's happening, and then we need to add some kind of awesome couch action in here. I kind of like this black one, but is that too boring? I don't know. Mmm, well that's too big, number one. Um, that's what she said. Anyway, um, okay, so something else I wanted to talk about is I'm going to uh, briefly go over uh, building stuff, but not so in-depth like I just did, so don't panic if you're like, I don't, I want to get to gameplay. I promise we will get to gameplay. That's the bad thing about this, though. It's like, oh man, I gotta explain this and that and this and... Oh, it's just too much fun. I have way too much fun explaining things, apparently. Um, which, you know, I guess gets me into trouble. Let's give him a raven. Boom. Yeah, party. I feel like he needs to have some kind of, like, really kind of random rug action going. What is this? This robo guy? He's secretly, like, ten years old forever, which is awesome. Or maybe we should give him a big fancy oriental rug. No, that's kind of stupid looking. I don't like that. Um... Well, that's hot. Let's use that. That'll work. That will work! Okay, we're gonna give him a bookcase, too, because he's just gonna be super awesome. We don't have a whole lot of theming with him just yet. I think I want to get more into that later. Right now, I just want to do kind of a basic bedroom that I can add to as I go. Um, okay, so anyway, I'm gonna go over these options really quick. This is the eyedropper tool over here. This is the hand tool, which I've been using, that just allows you to freely pick up things and move them around. This allows you to copy things, so if I want another version of this rug, I can have it. Um, just like that, without going and finding it again. This is a great option if it's your first time actually building a house and playing this game, because then you don't have to go searching for everything, because you probably aren't going to be so fluent in where everything is, and it's going to be kind of frustrating. Trust me. Um, then you have this. This is the... What is this tool called? The design tool. This allows you to change colors of things without actually deleting them, so you can try out different styles of, you know... If anything has more than one color option, you can try it out with this tool. This is a fabulous tool for that reason. I love it. I use it all the time. Also, when you're adding lighting, the day-night toggle, this will make it so it's nighttime. This won't... You can't do this for the game. This is only for building and for furnishing your house. You can't just toggle the night button and be like, Ooh, you know, now I can play at night and everybody's going to bed. You can't do that. It's only when you're building. And it's mainly done for this reason. This is another great thing if you have never played this game before and you have no idea what lighting effect is what the lighting's gonna be like in your room. Um, you can find out just by doing this. So, um, naturally, we are going to do that because it's fun. And you can see how much lighter it is in this room now that I've done that. Now, I think we need to put something hot and spicy on the wall. Now, I've been using a lot of these things, but I like this green thingy. Boom! Right above the bed. We don't have any artwork in here yet either. I know you can't see it necessarily when the walls are like this. 
Um, but that's just because it, it, I know that you can't see it and you might think, oh, it's not important, but it is important because there actually is a toggle on your sim that will make them depressed if they are not around enough pretty stuff. So, go figure. The Muse. No, what's this? This looks like Madonna. We'll put it on here because it's huge and fun. Um, not saying all gay guys like Madonna, but I'm just saying it fits. Actually, we're going to put it right here because that way it's not right behind the couch and we can put, I don't know, posters behind the couch or something. Or this. Let's put this cat picture up here. It's totally what I would have in my room. The only things that show up on the wall that you can't change are the mirrors. Um, I'm just adding this because I want to show that off. Ooh, and I like this one. Boom. Um, if you have your settings on right, you can actually see your sim in the reflection too, which is awesome. Now, obviously these are staying like this just because I just put them in and it's like, oh, you put these in, remember that. Um, they won't be like that for ever. I'll show you how to do how to take care of that so you're not like, oh, well now I can't see anything because there's a big picture in my way because that's not how it's gonna stay. Um, also, I want to add another light. Kinda want to add party light. Oh, well, that's too big. Well, we'll put party lighting right here and then we'll just add... Uh, oh, look at that. It's starting to light up that other room. We'll add this fierce light over the desk because I like it. Okay, and then we gotta add a light in the bathroom. Boom. Okay, so anyway, other options you have are these wall options, wall cutaways. So you can do a house with roof, that's just mainly for building and going, ooh, look at my house. Uh, you can do walls up, which is impossible to play with. And then what I always do is wall cut away, and now you can see all the artwork has been minimized, if you will. And, or you can just do with no walls at all. Some people like to play like this because it's easier to see everything. I personally don't, I like some atmosphere. So. Anyway, that's pretty much it for building tips that I have right now. Um, okay, I might need to move this mirror for a second. Ah, just stay right there for now. So that way I can add in... Actually, we're going to put the toilet... No, no, stop it. See, this is what happens. You start building and things get... Ah, no, 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 no! Okay, I'll show this off. There's actually an undo function, just like everything else in the world, except for life. Um, so yeah, you can undo your mistakes. Don't worry. Don't panic. It's a good day. Um, okay. Actually, do I want to add like a big shower? I'm taking way too long, aren't I? I know. I can't help it. I like taking a long time, apparently, and being annoying, and going, whoa, what's up? Here, we'll add a red bathtub, because everybody should have a red bathtub. If you don't have a red bathtub, you're not living. Okay, I can't fit a sink in here, but we'll just make him shower every time he goes to the bathroom. That'll be our, that'll be our scapegoat. Because this is a corner, and I can't add a sink right there, which, trust me, I would never do that in real life. I would always be like, uh, no, we need a freaking shower, or freaking shower, we need a freaking sink, but whatever, we can party with a sink later, he can go wash his hands downstairs. Okay, let's add one little, let's add this weird red poster in here, because it seems cool, and then we'll put the mirror back, if I get too annoyed with the mirror, I will end up moving it, but as for now, we're good, so, okay, now I think we're actually ready to play, um, there we go. We need a curtain above the door because that's hot. Remember those like um, bead curtains from the 90s? Oh, those things were awesome. My sister had one of those and I always wanted it. I think I got mad at her one time and pulled it down off her door though. Anyway, um, yeah, I didn't give him a music system. Oh well, he's got video games. He's set. So, okay. Really quickly, I know that I've been rambling and you guys are probably like okay gameplay <laughs> you guys are gonna punch me in the face uh, anyway I'm gonna show this off really quick build mode 
briefly go over it, it's set up exactly the same way as the buy mode, except you only have build tools, you don't have a sort by room or whatever option that was. Um, so obviously you have the wall tool, which allows you to build in any sort of uh, premise, I guess. I don't know what that if that's the word I'm looking for, but you have just walls one at a time, which is really annoying. Um, personally, the one I love using is this one, the room tool that just allows you to build a straight straight up square. Um, this is like a corner room. Again, you will not see all of these if you are not playing Sims 2 Pets. If you're just playing regular old Sims 2, you're probably not going to see that. Um, and then you've got like the round option, which is also awesome. You've also got half walls. I never particularly use these, mainly because I can't figure them out. Um, they just seem confusing to me and they cause issues that I don't want to deal with. Um, also, you have doors and windows, which is pretty self-explanatory. You have two-story windows that take a balcony, or not a balcony, they take like a ledge thingy that you can't have flooring right in front of them, so I usually don't mess with those. Archways, which are nice for kitchens, um, single-story windows, and doors. This is so you can see all the options put together. Whenever you see this infinity sign, that's what that means. This, I believe, multi-story doors and arches is from University, The Sims University expansion. It's not from this game, that's why I don't have it. Um, anyway, you also have flooring! Um, you've got stone, you know, wood, tile, carpet, all that good stuff. And then you've got, same kind of thing here, you've got like siding, tile again, wallpaper, paint. This is, you know, all pretty standard, easy to figure out. Stairs are easy, um, garage is just like house. You want to make sure you add your driveway first. When you start building a house, add the driveway first because you cannot put it on the right, you can only put it on the left. I don't know why that is, but it's really annoying and that's just, you have to have, I mean I guess you can put it on the right, but it has to be like right in the middle because you can see all those things, those little arrows that are going, no, you have to put it this far to the side. I don't know. Don't ask, don't tell. And um, then you have garage door, which just goes on the building that you built for your garage. Make sure it's big enough to fit your car, which I'm sure you'll figure out. You also have foundation decks for those swangy... swangy? I don't know what that means. Anyway, those spiffy people who have, like, decks in their backyard. You can build these and put little stairways up to them. This is just, like, an extra, like, if you can see that, it's like a little up. You can also build your entire house on that if you want to and add like a crawl space. You can't crawl under it though, so that's kind of annoying. Um, and then I believe in the... It's not in the stairs option, is it? I'll go over it anyway. Um, yeah, you can add little stairs up to that and those are provided. Don't worry about that. Your sim will be able to work. Anyway, then you have leveling of the ground. You can see where my ground is not even right here. This will allow me to do that. Or you can make hills, dips, or just F up your lawn. Then you also have ground covering. You can cover it with pine needles, sand, um, rocks. Uh, I always think this looks like snow whenever I've tried to make winter cabins and stuff like that. I'll use this, but this is actually sand. And this is just what is dirt. I don't know. I think that looks more like sand. Um, and then you have just like different grass options if you want to make your house unique, which, you know, is fun. Then you have the option of adding a lake, which just basically does that. I'm not going to do that though. And then, whoa, no. You can also flatten your entire lot. I believe this was added in Sims 2 Pets, not in earlier expansions. You also have gardening, which consists of, you know, trees, bushes, and plants. You will need to garden your plants. Trust me, we have to hire a gardener immediately. And then you also have roofing, which you will do at the end of building. In the miscellaneous section, um, you have these posts that you can add for decorative reasons, columns. You can make your house float in the air if you add just posts all over the ground and then build on top of those and then delete those. That's kind of a fun thing to do. There's also the pool option, which you saw me use earlier. This is a corner pool. This is a straight pool. Um, then you have um, party with fireplaces, fence tool, which allows you to add fences and fancy things. The um, gates to those fences can also be fancy and whatnot. This is an archway or awning. That is part of 
the business, open for business, I believe, expansion. Um, so we don't have that right now. And then elevators as well, same thing. I also believe the elevators were a part of the university option because I don't remember ever having those. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, building goes the same with all these options over here. You can copy a door, you can change the color of it just as easily as if you were adding furniture. Furniture! Um, and then, yes, okay, we don't need to look at that right now. Alright, so anyway, that is everything for the intricate details of building and um, furnishing, I guess. Oh man, alright, so because I'm running really, really, really out of time technically and low on time, I'm only going to show off a very small portion of gameplay and then we will totally get into gameplay next episode. I know, I'm sorry, you guys are going, no, but I promise it'll be a fun time. I will tell you right now, the first thing you'll want to do is find the phone. Where the F did I put, there it is. Alright, just like with anything, look at him back there approving of that stereo. Oh, he doesn't approve of that though, that's not good. Anyway, first thing you want to do is um, call service. I'll go over this more in detail when we need to. Wow, there's just so much detail in this game. I didn't realize how much... I mean, I guess I did, but I didn't really think about how much explaining I would need to do. Um, okay, first you... well, these are your options. Adoption service, bartender, exterminator, exterminator gardener, matchmaking service, maid, nanny, obedience trainer, pet adoption service, and repairman. So see, we can adopt Gooba eventually. All of these will come in handy eventually, but right now we are interested in a maid. First thing I always do is I hire a maid, um, because it is sucky to have to clean your entire house because it's annoying. Now, you can also have an affair with the maid. That's kind of fun. Um, but anyway, then you need to call service several times, actually. What are they doing in their da- Woo! They're dancing together, look at that. Uh, anyway, you'll also want to call a gardener if you have put any plants in. Keep in mind, this is something you can really only do if you have cheats. If you use the mother load cheat. Otherwise, you probably will not have the money to do this. Um, well, you might, but it's gonna be trickier. Okay, I think that's all we need. I would hire a nanny, but we don't have any babies yet, so... Yep, that's all we need to do. Okay, so basically that's the first thing you need to take care of, and then you can go dance with your insane husband. Or you can go make out with him, that's always fun too. Um, why isn't the sun dancing? Get in here and dance to the stupid music. You want to become a chef? Dance muscle. I guess that's supposed to be the hustle. Oh, that's nice. That's kind of weird. Dancing around your parents as they make out. That's not good. That is not good. This family's messed up already. And I really don't know what this- What is this? Is this supposed to be like Thriller? The ghetto version? Cowboy version? I don't know. I'm really confused about it. Why are we in the office of all places? We've got all these party rooms and we're over here. Come on, pimps. Alright. Ooh, we're all gonna do it now. Look at that. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be a fun time. I am telling you guys right now. Alright, well, I am going to close out this video. I'm gonna save it and we're going to officially begin with gameplay next time now that I've gone over all the tedious details of building and furnishing. I apologize for going through so many tutorial-ish episodes for you guys who have, you know all the details of this, but I hope it was interesting anyway. This has been Madame Wario, I will see you guys next time when we officially delve into- hey, there's our gardener. Well, we're not gonna delve into our gardener, but we are. <laughs> That's what he said. We are going to delve into gameplay, so I'll see you guys then. Peace out, pimps.